hello today I'm gonna make for you coconut potato kalalo dew so the ingredients are kidney beans kalalo scotch bunny pepper water coconut milk ginger fermented seed garlic clove chocha small onion sweet potato dice peeled and diced and one Irish potato peeled and diced one tablespoon of coconut oil put your peas to soak first rinse it 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 to see how dirty this is. You see how important it is to see it inside. Look at the water, it's dirty. Look, look at the water dirty. I don't know if you can see it. Alright, rinse the water. Now add the peas and allow that to soak for about 30 minutes. So break, juice your coconut. Juice the coconut. See, I'm not going to show you this, I'm just giving you a clip. Put to eat a pressure cooker pot, add the water, four cups of water. Add your rubber. Remember, with this, you can always use the kidney bean from the can. But I don't use anything from the can. Make sure this is on properly. Turn the lid in. Put this on. Once it starts to whistle, once it starts to whistle, put your stove's gauge on four and put the timer set for 15 minutes. Okay, while you wait for this to pressure a piece, the piece to finish pressuring, remember you can use the one from the can. I'm just showing you the, the preparation stages. So this is Kalalo, and this is some water. So just put this in, put the Kalalo in some water. And cut off. Although I'm washing this, you can tell that I bought this from the supermarket, so you can tell that it's washed, they pre-washed it. Because the water is clean. It's just a little bit green, but it's clean. So remove the water. First, strip these. Bye. Remove the seeds. You know what? Some some roasters cook with the seed, but I don't like the seed. You know. To be honest, the seed is very good. Any seed, any edible seed, is very good.
штуки. Now with the leaf, you can cut this off. I am not going to use all of this color for this recipe. I'm going to put the rest of it for breakfast tomorrow morning. In this making. Why do we strip these? Alright, let me tell you why. Number one, when it's growing outside, the skin of this is dirty. And number two, when it's shredded and you and, and it's gonna eat it, it gives you a better eat. It's not too much of the string is in it. So those are the reasons. So now remove the water. the way so now we want to shred this I'm going to do it with Jamaican I can't put this on a chopping board right now Take out the proportion that you're going to use. Look into the ingredients down there. And visit my website to make a dinner exact for the ingredients. For the right proportion. Peel, wash, peel, wash, and prepare all vegetable seasonings. Serve. So the, uh, this is waste.
smash it. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. Okay. Right. Okay, it's, it's slice them like this too you know and give it a trim nice trim but dice the onion peel this If you leave a little skin, it's okay. Don't leave too much. Remove the art. Dice these. Dice. Make one strips. Don't dice them too thin. Nice cubes. Put this aside. Peel this. Peel the potatoes. Peel them as thin, thin as possible. See? This is not. This is not a good, that good of a potato, but it's it's okay. Why I said that? Look. Every time I peel potatoes, I always think about men, the men, men in the army. If they really do let them peel potatoes, I wonder if they're still doing it for punishment. The soldiers, they just let them peel potatoes in the movies and peel this. I kind of want to peel this last, you know. Because it tends to change color. We're going to wait till we're almost ready to put this in. You peel it and dice it. So the potato now. Dice it. See, it's not that good. Let's go in the middle. across and just dice nice chunks all right just okay clean as you go the peas is ready just cool
build this sword. We can't move. We're gonna cut it out in the after I'm finished. Okay, remove the sores. With this, take off all the skin. I'll do the same with this. This is going to be a little bit challenging, but let's do that. that. a plate like I am because this can break the plate. Right now I'm being careful. Okay, put this aside until you're ready. Put both of these aside until you're ready. Wait for about 30 seconds and then add oil. Okay, add oil. The only thing that's missing from this ingredients, and I'm not using, is a carrot. So you would dice a carrot. Add the oil. And wait for a minute. Right now I have the stove on six. So after a minute, Add the onion the garlic. the stove's gauge and low and the potatoes and just stir in and just cover this and allow it to cook Cover it. 
and allow it to simmer. Put your stove gauge on four. Okay, this is this is an ital meal. Ital meaning no salt. So this is what it looks like after ten minutes. You should cover the pot and keep it covered. And I have the stove on four. I open it is just to show you. I am smelling the pepper, so I'm going to remove it because I don't want it. Scotch bonnet is a hot pepper, man. I just want it to flavor it. It smells awesome. I didn't add any salt to this, and I'm not going to add any. It smells so good. <coughs> now, once the time, once the time is completed, just turn the stove off. Leave it. You're finished. This is what it looks like. So you just cover it and just leave it till you're ready to serve so this is a coconut potato kalalo ju if after the time you test the potatoes and you think to yourself the potatoes are not finished don't overcook it because right now while we're just waiting it's still cooking and I turn off the stove or else it will be broken down in it like like a soup and you don't want that this coconut potato kalalo ju is the sweat of the kalalo the potatoes mixed with the coconut milk give it the ju you. So this is my coconut potato colored dew. Remove the tank. So that is my coconut potato color the dew. Smell awesome. Coconut potato color the dew. Coconut potato kalalo dew. Okay, let's be a critic. Let's, I'm gonna be a critic for you. See, look at the potatoes cooked. Tastes good. The kalalo is cooked. So see you witness this just like me. You witness me cooking this. You know be good in this? I have some green banana, about one. Mm. This is so clean. Excuse the noise because in my area, 
they're doing construction so licking down stone and so forth so you might hear that banging in the background excuse it you might wonder what it is they're building apartments Is good. See the fermenter seeds, remove them. We don't heat fermenter seeds, we just put it in the food for flavoring. But I know Americans, especially white people, do not like to eat and have interference. They, they just like to just eat straight. But you can remove it, remove the fermenter seed. This thing is so awesome. To describe how I feel, because I'm like that, my body feels so like I'm going through, like I'm going through this cleanse. I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a bar, I'm in a, some um, spring water, as pure as ever. That's how I feel. I don't know if it makes sense to you, but that's just how I feel. I feel like I'm getting clean. This is so cool. And the potatoes, I'm gonna give it a eat. This is a full meal. This is so good. See, I'm taking out the seeds. Just out of this one recipe, I took out all those seeds. I cannot stop emphasizing how this thing tastes so good. I must confess, I don't cook this regular. In fact, it's my father's meal. Him eat these type of food. Fruits, man. But I eat this type of food too. Is it my learning from? Pepper is just right. Let's be taught right on time. I am sweating like crazy. Be specific. My head is sweating, not my body. Just my head. Mm. Mm. Sorry guys to be stressing it like that but you know what if you hear me stressing like this I think you'll want to try it I don't think I've ever stressed this much on any of my other videos and I really mean that I have to say, 
I'm having one more of this before I go to my bed tonight.